Alright, uh, Brockley Howell, Brockley Howell Shy, Brockley Howell, Brockley Howell Shy, Brockley Howell, Brockley Howell Shy, Brockley Howell, Brockley Howell Shy. All praise, glory, and honor to Yahweh, Bashem Yahweh Shai. Double honors to the apostles of Great Millstone. And honors and salutations to all you Akim out there that's laboring in the truth and sincerity. All right, this is uh, another GMS en route. And um, we call it a super missile. And it's based off of, um, you know, a, a news article that's out there uh, in RT. And a few other places where I've seen it, where um, Trump was speaking about this. You know this new super missile that they have you know and, and he's bragging basically he's bragging about it saying that it's 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 the fastest missile because supposedly russia has a missile that's five times the fastest missile right and um china's working on getting a missile that's five times the fast faster than the fastest missile well he's saying that this missile they got is 17 times faster than the fastest missile now the thing is is that and see and that's that pride okay because the scriptures tell you clearly that the most high is the one that that allowed them to get the you know that nuclear missiles because really those are the lord's arrows at the end of the day you see what i'm saying and, and, and uh i'm gonna go i'm gonna read a couple of scriptures as i can from the spirit you know but we see because now here it is you got the uh which eventually and that's how this society is, man. Everything that happened, even if it's real life shit, it, it comes and goes like fads, you know? And especially in the time that we, we're in now, everything is um, disposable, you know? Disposable from anything, from styles, fashions, uh, movies, to, uh, to, to hit records or whatever, you know, because of the time. And that's it's, it's spiritual in itself because we at the end, and the most I sped the time up. Things are uh, moving quickly. But back in the back in the day, I'm gonna say in the ancient times. Uh, I, mean, I guess I can't say the ancient times, but back in the days, like if a, if a record came out, like like for example, when um Michael Jackson and Paul McCartney dropped that that uh the girl, the girl is mine, you know, or that say say say, those records were being played all throughout for, for about a year or so or even better now if somebody somehow manages to make a which the hits ain't even hits but say somebody have a hit record it, it might really you might hear it everywhere for about a, a couple weeks probably maybe you understand so same thing is like with the with uh situations like like the coronavirus pandemic and again, they're forcing it down your throat every day. Of course, they got briefings, this, that, and the third. But it's became played out. Even though, you know, and that's because to it, to a lot of people finding out about this government and about how they operate with all the fake news and everything. But it's played out, and, it, and now it's time for a different phase of what Esau calls his new world order. And at the end of the day, you know, they they want to open up for certain certain purposes and everything like that so now people are in other words people are a little bit hardened to the coronavirus news and not it's not shocking no more you know but what's going to be shocking is all the blowback and, and how they're rearranging it because now which lord willing i'm sure brother's going to be touching on it at the camp and everything but they because now like in, in connecticut the, the uh governor or senator for connecticut said there's no more you know and i got i got the scriptures here so you know, don't get it twisted. Got some scriptures we gonna drop, and of course you can always put put scriptures in a comment board. And you know we're speaking for prophecy according to the scripture. You know, but um, what what, what happens is what happened is uh they they they're considering passing a, a, a restriction a ban on traveling to New York from Connecticut. He said the days of traveling to New York may come to an end on the and that's major and that's major if they they do something like that and shut down the subway the, uh not the subway the um metro north the train and you know traveling from back and forth to new york because see what happened is Cuomo he um extended extended the uh quarantine or the shutdown to in J july i think it is or the end of June, something like that. Whereas in Connecticut, state like Connecticut is gonna open up next week. So 
here it is if you go into which Connecticut and, and New York border each other that's why it's a tri-state New Jersey, Connecticut and New York so they, those borders they close those borders and stop you know how many people majority of people's families are in New York and they move to Connecticut or New Jersey and they commute to go back and forth to work so now if you sit there and stop people from going into New York New York or Connecticut you gotta pass through New York to get to up north, northeast to Boston or whatever, whatever. Same thing. If you wanna go down south, you gotta pass through New York. So if they sit there and stop that, what you think is gonna happen, man? What you think that's gonna be a major a, a major outrage, but that's the prophecy in Ezra's, man. Right? They should seek to go into a city, but they cannot. So these things are happening, prophecy is happening, and that's why like going back to the, the super missile, so to speak, that Trump is talking about, that's all a part of prophecy, man. That's all a part of the prophecy that the Most High set up. And that's why, really, they, they're going to be in for a shock of their life, too, because they think they're in control of the situation. Really, they're not. They're heading the situation, but the Most High is in control. Because, as we always tell you, the Lord controls every every spectrum, man. All right? In righteousness, and it's all in order, whether you understand it or not. All right? And, and it tell you clearly in the scriptures, on the left hand where the Lord doth work because the Most High created Satan, the spiritual entity Satan that controls and rules uh, the powers of this world he sought his children and Satan the, the, the spiritual entity Satan is one of the sons of the Most High anyway and he, he obeys the Most High just like the rest of the angels alright there was never a rebellion or Satan rebellion against, against the Most High and the Most High kicked him out of the fourth dimension and now he's on the earth with horns and a picture that's that's a lie it never happened like that you see and at the end of the day the most high set satan up to rule his people and this for punishment but now esau because remember to tell you in obadiah about the pride of his heart the pride of his heart deceived him because even though the most high set them up they actually think that they're the uh <coughs> a matter of fact let me go to that first since spirits going that direction they actually think that they're the ones who accomplished this by their own power and their own might see and that's why i said they're going to be in for a rude awakening the most side is going to hit them back with, with uh reality they're going to realize that now nah, they they didn't have the power that they thought they had you know what i'm saying so now this is uh isaiah chapter 10 verse uh five it says O Assyrian, the rod of my anger and the staff in their hand is my indignation. So, which the Assyrian nowadays, the Assyrian was one of the, uh, this is going back to the Assyrian captivity that was ruling over Israel, right? Because we went into captivity under the Assyrians. Well, that's now you could look at, look at that as America, just like you can look at America being Egypt. You can look at America being Babylon, all right? Because America is now. The, uh, the wicked the wicked evil empire that's in power but not only that they pretty much they draw all of their power and their sorcery from the previous you know uh, societies rulerships and captivities of the, the Babylonians of the Egyptians of the Assyrians right so now they're in that power seat so to speak to where they're the ones that are pretty much laying strokes through on everybody man with this this uh, quarantine thing, man, they, they control, showing you the influence that they can shut shit down at any given moment, all right? And again, about Trump, like I said, you know, I'm, 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 I'll be shocked if somebody else were to come in office, all right? It, it should be, have to be some motherfucker that we ain't never even see, you know what I'm saying? Rise out to see like the Kraken or some, some somebody, some unknown, maybe Pence. They said, because in the beginning, I, I remember when they said, Y'all think Trump is bad. They said he, he's, he ain't got nothing on Pence, you know? They said Pence is a real demon, a, a, a Nazi-type motherfucker. But um, but honestly, I don't see... Trump is, is the perfect guy, you know? He, he just fired anybody that... He, he basically, basically, he's on like on some straight-up dominant, like some General Zod-type shit, you know? Dark, Dark Vader, like you either get down with him or he gonna put you down, man. All the people that came up against him, he, he got rid of him, man. He just fired one of the, I don't know if that was the last whistleblower or whatever, you know. So, 
you know, he, he, he seems like the guy that, you know, I can see him as the guy that the Most High got in there to make these things happen. So that's why now they, he's boasting about this new, new, new nuclear missile. You know, basically it, it's a uh, nuclear arms race all over again, you see? So it says, I will send him against an hypocritical nation and against the people of my wrath will I give him a charge and to take the spoil and to take the prey and to tread them down like the mire of the streets. And again, going back in the history that happened to Israel, and guess what? With, with the ancient Assyrian Empire, but in the new Assyrian Empire, if you will, it's gonna happen again. It's gonna happen again. And that's what you see happening with these uh, different new restrictions that's being in place. And the, the people of the Lord are gonna suffer through it. Now everybody's gonna suffer, other people, other nations, whoever's caught in the you know crossfire of courts. But at the end of the day, you gotta remember something. This all goes back to Jacob and Esau, man. So really, if the other nations need not to really be mentioned, you know, because they're, they're just like props in this whole thing, man. At the end of the day, like all these uh these different you know draconian legislations are more so for Jake. Okay, the uh Georgia Guidestone. When they speak about eliminating uh, the dark nation, they talking about our people more so. I mean, yeah, if you were, you know, the other stragglers of the other nation, they could get it too. Because Esau, you know, Esau is a devil. He, you know what I'm saying? He ain't got no, there's no holes barred with this devil. But really, the, the target is Jake. Jake's always been the target. That's why, you know, Jake has been in the position we've been in for years. I'm talking about hundreds of years since Esau, the so called white man, since they stepped foot on America, it's been all hell. And even prior to that, in Europe, when they were taking Jake down, setting up the uh, from the Renaissance, the rebirth of, of the pagan Roman Empire, them coming back into power and taking Jake down, it's been nothing but hell, man. And it's increased, you see? But now it says, how be it, he mean if not so, neither doth his heart think think so, but it is in his heart to destroy and cut off nations, not a few. For he saith, are not my princes altogether kings? All right, I'm going to jump down and get the main point that I wanted though. Verse 13, right, for he saith, by the strength of my hand, I have done it and by my wisdom. So that's what the mo that's what uh, Esau is saying. He's saying that he was so wise, just like with the nuclear missile. You see, Trump, he, he's Trump, you can read up on it. It's out there in the um, different uh, news outlets where he's speaking about it, you know, speaking about this super missile that's 17, 17 times faster than Mach 27, whatever, supposed to be compared to, to the speed of light, this, that, and the third. And when you when he speaks about it, and it's heavy too because it's heavy that they're unveiling it because they got, like I was mentioning in one of the shows, they got this thing called the Blackjack Program with these space satellites that they want to create a, a web in, in, the, in Earth, basically around the Earth, uh, like an internet web where they, they said it's for intelligence from the, uh, basically trying to milk the, the stars, the so-called constellations, you know, the Orion, uh, so-called Leo with all these the Big Dipper. They want to set it and form a net. This is Esau. This is Esau, man. All right? The scriptures tell you that his sins have reached into the heavens, man. You know, and who th he think of himself as the most high. But now they're talking about this super missile on top of it. And really more so, you know, which of course, yeah, look, now they got all these big ass five, 5G towers every goddamn way, man. And look how quick they put they put them up. All right, about a month and a half of quarantine, and you got damn near 5G towers all over, especially most uh, major cities, you see? But anyway, they, I believe that they're doing that because they know that the Lord is on its way because there's a lot of different chariot sightings. There's different videos. Um, I was watching some that I think it was a chariot sighting the other day in Brazil. Or two two sightings right in Brazil. And I don't know if they said it. They said he knocked something. Maybe they, the chariot shot a, a satellite out of the sky. They said some went to the water and then the internet feed was cut off over there or something like that. <coughs> And some of the, they were saying that they think that they did it so that that way they could go and try to delete whatever the live footage or whatever the case is because 
you know, even though Esau wants to be exposed, he really don't want to be exposed. He want to be exposed with him controlling what's exposed. But this thing is out of his hand. Again, as we're reading, and, and this script is going to say it clearly, the Lord, the Most High is in control of things, man. The Lord is in control of things at the end of the day, even though Esau's at the head of things because this is his society. He was put in this position. But the Most High, his will is what's going to stand, not the will of the so-called white man, not their new world order that they think they're so close to. That's why they scrambling to try to establish it, not the will of these uh, militias that think that they're going to rise up and they think that they're actually the seed of Jacob. No, they're not the seed of Jacob. They're the seed of Esau, Edom. They're going to go into slavery, all right? Even all these dudes, and they, they are on point as far as knowing something's about to happen. When they speak on these things, they had a, 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 I woke up early this morning, I seen it on the CB, CBS, and that's how you know this thing is happening because before certain news, you would have to go to alternative news sites to get it, get it from. You would never hear, you know, certain things or certain documentaries big. They had a whole segment on, it was on CBS, a regular CBS about the doomsday preppers and, you know, they was going into the whole thing of, um, you know, the, uh, the coronavirus was a blessing in disguise because now it'll show people the reality of these things happening. You know, the guy sitting there, he's talking, they got a whole, they got a squad, they, they connect in different states. So now people don't think that we're, like, like they the prophets or something. But nah, y'all not the prophets. And y'all gonna go into slavery too. The Lord speak about that in the book of Amos, the ninth chapter, man. All right, though they dig into hell. All right. Wherever you, wherever these devils go, the Lord is gonna seek them out, man. The Lord's gonna have us find them. Because look, we had to, we had to go, man. They, they got Jake from everywhere, man. And seeing a lot of they don't like to speak about these things, man. When they speak about themselves of they being the people of the most high, they don't want to speak about Jake's plight. Because just that alone destroys the, the, the myth of them thinking that they're the children of the Most High. Because the scriptures speak about the suffering that was going to happen, especially in these last days, to the children of the Most High. The Lord, when he was on the earth 2,000 years ago, said the kingdom of heaven, since the days of John the Baptist until now, the kingdom of heaven suffered violence, and the violent taken by force. force. So people can sit there and claim about what they went through, but when you speak about slavery, the first people that's gonna come in your mind is the so-called Negroes, man. It's Jake. Nobody went into slave, slavery to the degree or the level that Jake went into. You know, to the point where they got niggas afraid to talk about it. Niggas tired of talking about it because they sold out. Or they think that that's holding them back, which is bullshit. Because the Heavenly Father said he required that which is past. You see? So you're never supposed to forget about the atrocities. and You're never supposed to forget about that, man. You know what I'm saying? But, you know, Esau, he conditioned people to forget things, man, and to accept things that are abominations, things that are abomination in the sight of the Most High, such as with all these different queer ass, this transgender bullshit, man, this homosexual bullshit, lesbian bullshit. Every goddamn movie or series got some type of, and they do that through, uh, through Elder I not like to use that term, predictive program a lot, a lot, and it's true. They use predictive programming to program these people. So when you see these shows, they here it is, I have a show with a whole bunch of people that are straight and then just have a faggot dude intermingle and have them accept it. So you keep seeing it. They put it in everything to the point where you like, oh, hey, okay, ain't nothing wrong. Or they might put some lesbians, right? And you know, J Jake normally think with they, the wrong head first. So you sit there and like, yeah, that's a bad, but then you like, wait a minute, that's a fucking lesbian, man. It's a lesbian scene. You know, but anyway, that, that's why I can't wait for this place to be destroyed anyway, you know. Can't speak about it enough because that's that's music to my ears, man. When I see these pro see prophecies and things happening because I know that, like Yahweh Shai said, we're getting closer to the kingdom of heaven being established, man. Fuck all the bullshit, man. Fuck all the, you know, sitting here dealing with all this shit, dealing with Esau, with this uh, stimulus trillion dollars stimmy they gonna give you money and not money man listen this be first of all there's not enough money that they can give jake man and this and they owe they owe way more than i'm talking about some trillion dollars you sprint man listen and we gonna get our true reparations through the power of yahweh bashim yahweh shai all right so that's why we wait we wait on the most side man we do what we gotta do 
until Yahweh Shai come here. But we hit, we we waiting, man. We ain't selling nothing. Esau knows this, so that's why Esau is like on some blitzkrieg shit, man. He's just coming with more and more legislation that he knows is gonna tie Jake up and allow, like with the thing with the mask. Here it is, nobody, everybody catching hell, which the maskless bullshit. In the video, uh, uh, this uh, brother Elder I not was showing me uh, what the fuck's his name? Well, he calls him Doctor Fauci. Doc, Dr. Fauci, Fauci, whatever his name is, he's, even he said it that the man's some bullshit. Did anybody, you talk to a lot of people, I was talking to, um, who actually, Jake, he married to my cousin. You know, he, he's in that world scientist and he, he mixing different medicines and shit like that, and working in the hospital. And even he said, he said, man, I, he said, man, I don't have no fucking mask, mask on. If you go into most whole food or, or health food stores, they're not wearing no goddamn mask. They know that, first of all, any virus, if your body is, your immune system is built up, then, you know, you ain't got nothing to worry about it. But now it's a fight, fight though, because why? A lot of our bodies, our health is, is compromised by this radioactive world that we in. And, it, and it, I don't care what any of you so-called smarty chemists say. The 5G towers is not making it no better, man. All right, they're not making it no better, you see? But, but anyway, you saw gonna do what he gotta do. But now I'm gonna read back on in the scripture. You know, it says, uh, for he saith, for he saith, by the strength of my hand I have done it, and by my wisdom, for I am prudent, and I have removed the bounds of the people. Right, and he did do that. He took everybody out of their land, he took the, this land from our people, the Native American Indians, from Gad and Reuben, he moved the bound. He pushed them to fucking res reservations in some of the lowest conditions ever. You know, forced uh, forced them to go to boarding school so that they'll forget any trace of their heritage, right? It says, and have robbed their treasures. And yeah, and he stole all of our goodies, man. Ill-gotten gains, man. This devil got ill-gotten gains, you see? And that's how they became rich, off of stealing everything from us. Not that they were so smart. Bill Gates is nothing but a goddamn devil. Oh, what's the other bastard, man? Um, the other bastard, that blood drinking bastard that be at the fights with Floyd Mayweather. I can't think of his name right now. Other retarded bastard. You know, all them, all them damn devils, man. They ain't wasn't do nothing so hard or whatever the case is. I mean, it's their time to shine. So yeah, you know, the most high allowed them to do what they do. But now they at the end. Okay, and there's nothing they can do. They can't add no more time to their rulership, man. All right? I tell you that in Job, the Mosiah set the boundary where man can't pass. You see? It said the, the uh, triumph of the wicked is but for short. All right? So it says, uh, and I've robbed their treasures, and I've put down the inhabitants like a valiant man. And yes, he did. Yes, he did. He, de he destroyed us. He broke us down. Through, through various things, through the, uh, that damn Gatling gun, by uh, getting, profiting off of Jake. Because Jake was always warring with each other, all right? The different Jake tribes that was scattered in Africa, which are Israelites, they knew that they were Israelites. They still, some of them over there that still carried on the traditions in different parts of Africa of the, I'm talking about the real Israelites, not the Falashian Jews or the converts or whatever, all right? They was always in fighting, just like over here in, in, in this side of, of of the world, the Western Hemisphere. You had the Native American Indian tribes and so-called Latin tribes. They was over here. Some of them was fighting. They had wars amongst each other. So Esau would pay off one side to spy and help. You know, that's divide and conquer. Esau been doing that since he he been here, man. You see what I'm saying? So those things did happen. And then on top of it, just like what they're doing now. The way they started, I guess that's how they're gonna end it. When they first started coming over here, they was bringing all kind of diseases and destroying the Native American Indians with smallpox and certain type of diseases and, and, and all the uh, filth, cockroaches and shit that they brought over here, you know? That's what you so-called white people are responsible for. All right, well, you're doing the same thing now by creating uh, coronaviruses, SARS, Ebola, uh, uh, HIV or, or AIDS or whatever, any of these different viruses and diseases that they create in the, in the laboratory, man. 
They're gonna sit there and tell you that, well, nah, these come from a come from animals. So you mean to tell me an animal just sits there and, and, and all of a sudden the virus just grow, he just produces a virus naturally. So that means you should be able to find these animals and and you know they should be able to produce viruses right before you. you know what happens is y'all mess around and do y'all fucking Dr. Frankenstein shit to it and you create viruses and you mutate things and you do different things inside your laboratories and the CDCs and so forth and so on where you do all your, your studies and everything okay that's what happens man all right your biochemists and all, all that stuff man you see but the most high is gonna have still gonna bury you still not with all this advancement in, in technology with, with all this advancement in, in science that you supposedly allegedly have the Lord is still gonna bury you fucking devils man it says in my hand have found as a nest the riches of the people and as one gathered eggs that are left have I gathered have I gathered all the earth and there was none that moved the wing or opened the mouth or peeped you see and that's why in Psalms 50 the Lord said you thought that I was one as thyself because why they got they got away with stealing the whole world robbing the most sized people you see so that's why they are bold and proud it says, so the axe boasts itself against them that you are there with. Hey, if you, a, a lumberjack goes into the forest, he, he, he got an axe and he sharpens it up. And he's out there chopping chopping the trees down. How the hell is the axe going to talk, talk to the goddamn, uh, to the lumberjack? What the hell is the axe going to say? The axe can't say shit. The, the axe ain't shit unless there's somebody there that's able to use it. So that's what this devil is. Esau is a tool, just like Donald Trump and the rest of the, and the elites that pull his string. They're nothing really at the end of the day but tools of the most high. All right, so it says, should the ax boast itself against him that you have there with? You know, that's, that that's, don't make no sense. It's retarded. It says, or should a saw magnify itself against him that shaketh it? Yeah, like a saw. A saw can't cut nothing without nobody there to use it. So I won't just get up by itself and start cutting the wood. It says, as if the rod should shake itself against them that lift it up, or as the staff should lift it itself as if it were no wood. Therefore, shall the Lord of hosts send among his fat ones leanness. Yeah, all these devils that master all these riches, they're going to be starving too. A lot of them, you got some of these devils that's getting caught up by uh, what's going on, but... I'm talking about the, the super rich, the elites, all right? The elites, they're going to get affected too, man. Mosai going to send plagues on them, on their flocks and everything. It says, and under the, his glory, he shall kindle a burning light like the burning of a fire. And the light of Israel shall be for a fire. Yeah, because remember, the Heavenly Father is a consuming fire, okay? And what's inside those missiles, I don't care what speed you you so-called uh, travel at and the thing the importance of them with the speed trying to make faster missiles is one I, I mean I believe that they're doing it as part of their Star Wars program because again again as I was started going into it earlier and them knowing that Yahweh Shai is coming back with, that's why they got the satellites and all out of space trying to keep a, a view of what's going on and uh, they're trying to find some type of weaponry the fight against the most side at the end of the day yeah they're in an arms race against each other because they are gonna it's gonna pop off between russia and, and, and uh the united states so that's prophecy in itself that they they're in this uh you know back and forth over who got the best missiles and you know and, and they strengthening their missiles up so they'll be ready for uh ready for each other you know what i'm saying that is prophecy so and the faster the faster the missile is, you know, the, e uh, the easier it is for it to get through the defense system. The, the missiles, if the defense system is outdated. By cause that's how they the defense system is based on off of when you look it up. Is and it's that's in the scriptures too, all right. And that shows you to tell you in Habakkuk too. The, I think it's the third chapter how the missiles are going to dest destroy the defense system. It's not going to be able to stop because. The speed of these missiles are too fast for the, de the defense system. So normally when they shoot a missile up in the sky, the defense system 
uh, uh, senses it and it shoots a missile to intercept it in the sky so it never has a chance to hit its target. But now these missiles are uh, 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 so fast that they're making, by the time the defense system senses it, it's too late because it done hit its target already. You see? But anyway, the Mosai is going to guide him to, the, to his target anyway. You see? That's what it's all about. But um, I'm, I'm going end to it, end it right there. You know, maybe I, I'm going to probably do, do more on, you know, I have some precepts I want to touch. But, you know, it's just the en route. Sometimes I try to keep the en routes down, you know, past half hour, hour at the longest. But sometimes less than that. Unless the spirit, you know, because hey, the spirit overall is what controls what we do. But the spirit is telling me to just cut it right there. So I'm going to cut it right there. So hopefully you brothers, brothers are uh, edified, you know, and, and with that to the next video, give all praises, glory, and honor to Yahweh by Shimei Shai. Say shalom to you, sincere Akim.